Welcome back to the fourth grade edition of How to Pass the Math FSA. Today we're going to be working on maths.4.oa.1.2, which is lesson two, more multiplicative comparisons, um, but a little bit more word problems going on. So let me teach you. Let's start with example one. This is an equation editor response. Let's read it and use our cubic cubes method. Make it a color y'all can see. Do, do, do. All right. Sorry. Just hit the camera. Okay. Cassandra. Cassandra has 35 pencils. Margaret has P pencils. And I know that P is not a number, but it's going to stand for a number. So I'm going to go ahead and circle my key numbers. If Cassandra has five times as many pencils as Margaret, write an equation that shows how many pencils Margaret has. So in my box, my equation editor box, I need to write an equation that shows how many pencils Margaret has. So here is how you do it. All right, Cassandra, let's make some sense of this. Cassandra has 35 pencils. And Margaret has P. We don't know, that's our unknown. But Cassandra has five times as many as Margaret. So Cassandra has five times the pencils that Margaret has. And we know that Cassandra has a total of 35. So five times P equals 35. That's my answer. It goes in the box. Did my work go in the box? Nope. Just my solution, just my answer. Example two. Um, and I know that this is kind of tiny for you to be watching, but if you click the description box, Below, there's a link that will take you to the complete guide to how to pass the math FSA, the fourth grade edition. There are over 300 problems for you to practice to get better. Um, but let's get back to example two. If Kyle has 16 math problems for homework, Camille has, not if, sorry, Kyle has 16 math problems for homework. Camille has M math problems. We don't know how many math problems she has yet. If Kyle has twice as many math problems, create an equation, oops, that shows how many math problems, math homework problems Camilla has. And this is very similar to the last question, but we just have a different type um, response mechanism, a different way to answer this problem. This is a gridded response, and this is what it would look like on the computer, um, which you'll be taking next year. But I just want to make sure that you understand this because they could have some kind of way to do this for your paper based test this year in 2016. So we know, let's break it down and evaluate it. Kyle ha solved 16 math problems for homework. Camille has M, and we know that Kyle has two times what Camille has, which is M. Camilla, sorry. So our equation would be two times a number, two times what Camilla has equals 16. That's what I'm going to put in my box right here. So, if this were the computer, I would drag it. Choo, bloop. Multiplication, choo, bloop. M, choo, bloop. 16, choo, bloop. And that is how you solve it. We're on example three now, everybody. And we have our boy Walter here. Walter has four video games four video games. Josiah has twice as many video games as Walter. Which picture represents this situation? Okay, let's go over here and make some sense of it. So Walter has four 
And I'm going to use pictures this time to represent it um, because this multiple choice um, type problem requires the use of pictures. But you could also have used pictures for the other ones too. So I showed you one strategy, just breaking it down with numbers. But sometimes we need to make it a little bit more concrete and pictures help. So Walter has four video games. Josiah has twice as many video games as Walter. So Josiah would have one, two, three, four, but twice that. So we gotta write what Walter has twice. That means two times. So which picture represents this? Well, some kids, well, hang on, let's go with the correct answer first. The one that matches my picture of Josiah is C. Okay, I'm gonna put a question mark there um, because that's the one that I think it is, but let me look at the other ones too. So this would have been two times the four, which would equal eight. Two times what Walter did, which is eight video games for Josiah. This is showing four plus two, and some kids might get confused because they see the four, but you're not doing it twice here. You're just adding on two more. That's not right. B, why would kids pick B? I think they would pick B because, hey, they see the number four and they probably don't know how to solve it, so they see four there and they would pick that. But that's wrong because you got to do two times that. We already explained why C is correct. And then D would have been a student getting confused about division, taking what Walter did and then breaking it apart. Um, that's not right. So C is our answer. So I have mixed emotions right now because this is example four and for this standard, that's our last one for today. Kind of happy because that's our last one and I'm only giving you four um, for lesson two, but like, I feel like we barely had time to hang out. So I know, make sure you watch more so we can continue to hang out together. Um, and in the next episode, I'm going to put some names in for kids that have commented in the past um, to other YouTube videos. We're going to plug their name in. So if you would like to be in a math problem, plug your name in and I'll make that happen. All right, so example four, Peter has 18 gold coins. Jake has four times as many gold coins. Question, how many gold coins does Jake have? So I need to figure out how many gold coins Jake has. So let me see what I know. I know that my boy Peter, and yes, I'm referring to Peter Pan. Peter Pan, Jake from Jake and the Neverland Pirates. You might be in fourth grade, but you know you know what I'm talking about. You know. You know Barney is your homeboy. <laughs> All right, Peter has 18 gold coins. Jake has four times as many gold coins. So four times what Peter has. And how many coins does Peter have? Peter has 18, so let's rewrite that. Four times 18. Oh, okay. So I gotta do four times 18 to figure out how many gold coins Peter has. Now, I don't like it written horizontally like that. I need to write this baby vertically, and I know that when I put the greater number on top, it makes it easy for me. So let's do this. Eight times four, 32. Woo, it's high up here in the clouds. Nice landing, dude. One times four is four. Add on my three, which would be seven, so 72. So how many gold coins does um, Jake have? He has 72 gold coins. Did I write all my work in this box? No, no, don't do it. Just put your answer in the box. Don't confuse the test greater about that. You could even just write 72, that's fine, but keep your work ah, to the side, okay? You're back for some inspirational message time, okay? So this inspirational message, motivational message, today comes from Eric Thomas, my boy E.T. You need to look him up on YouTube, E.T. the Hip Hop Preacher. He is awesome. I listen to him every day, and I'll probably use a bunch more of what he says because what he has to say is awesome. Um, 
He says, I can, I will, I must. Say that with me. I can, I will, I must. I can, I will, I must. That applies to other things in life too. So enough ranting. You got this. Peace. And math rocks. And hashtag fourth graders are the best. Unless you're a third grader, because I love you too. <laughs>